coming on today to finish off my 30 days of minimalism challenge and I don't know if I've ever shared this before but I store all of my paper in single sheets so when I get a paper pad the first thing that I do is take all the sheets out and then I put them in colour order and my paper boxes have been getting shall we say a little bit overflowing <laughs> for a long time so I thought for days 24 to 30 I was going to go out and pull a sheet of paper for each of the day's challenge so in this one there's 24 in this one there's 25 in this pile here there's 26 sheets of paper in this pile here there's 27 sheets of paper wait did i do that right yeah 27 28 sheets 29 sheets and 30 sheets but i didn't just stop there i also pulled out all of these oh, and this little flyaway one here so I'm guessing there must be about 90 in there well between 60 and 90 I mean, easily right so that's 189 sheets of paper and that's about half of this stack so if anyone wants some paper, let me know. <laughs> and I will happily send you some. There's all sorts of paper in here. Every single colour, multicoloured, every different style, floral, patterned, vintagey, bright, summery, everything. So if you guys desperately need some paper, if you would help me pay a little bit towards postage because it's going to be heavy. But um, yeah, I don't have to send you all of it, but I can send you a selection. There's multiple sheets in some, so I'll probably just, if you want some, I'll send you like one sheet of each pattern or something. Um, yeah, just let me know what you like and what you don't like, and I will try and pick the ones you do like. So there's that massive stack. Right, so the reason why I haven't been on very much to finish off this challenge sooner is I got sick. I had that Nuvo or Nuro, whatever, Nuvo virus. I've got the Nuvo virus. I bought too many Nuvo drops. <laughs> no, not really. I got the Nuro virus or whatever, however you say it. The one that makes you sick and running to the bathroom every 10 seconds. My husband got it, poor thing, and then I, he got over it. It was a couple of days later and I'm thinking, yes, I didn't get it. And then I then it got me but I got over it a lot quicker than him but between looking after him and then having it myself I have been crazy busy and dying in bed so that that was my finish of the challenge but I didn't stop there I kept going because I still had areas of my craft room that I haven't de-stashed so um Next thing I did was oh, I'm having a bad hand day today. I de-stashed these big versions of the distress inks because I already have them in the minis and these are the only ones I haven't sold yet. Um I did a bulk tabletop sale a long time ago. Um, as far as I know, these are all still fine. I've not used them for about a year um, cause since I bought the minis. So if anybody would like these, just let me know. And if it's okay to pay postage, that would be great. Um, I think I heard Laura say that, from Mrs. Sosha and his staff say that she wanted one, some of these... Uh, one colour, I can't remember what it was, I might email her and ask her if she wants these. Um, but if not, you guys are welcome to have them. And those are the colours. 
Uh, so I'm going to get rid of those. Then I'm going to let go of this Fiskars punch. Um, I got some more punches. Yeah, this whole box of punches, basically. Uh, I can't remember what I've shown on camera, to be honest. I'm going a bit crazy because <laughs> I have stuff piled up everywhere. I'm going to let go of these. Uh, Master Stewart punches. These big punches. This one's quite cool for making your own handmade flowers. But I have dyes now, so I'm going to let them go. This one, I love this punch, but with my hands, I find them hard to press. If you don't have hand problems, you'll probably love it as much as I used to. Some sticky pow embossing powder. This enchanted gold one that's kind of yellowy. It's very pretty. And this Frosty the Snowman Wow embossing powder. Oh, I'm not on camera. Sorry about that. Yeah, and then just all of these different punches. Most of them are like leaves and little flowers. Yeah, tiny, tiny things. This scallop circle, this one's quite expensive. This oval, I think I was given that by somebody. So there's punches that I'm going to let go of. I have no idea what I'm going to do with all this stuff yet. Uh, but if you see anything you want, let me know. I'm going to let go of these three um, paper pads. I've not touched these. Yeah, romantic fine art. They're really cute, but I just don't need them. And then there's another one. I think they're usually three pounds each. Yeah. So that's my next stuff to purge. Uh, I found some more magazines. One, two, three, four, five magazines. I can't remember if I've shown them before, but. They were on the floor, so I decided to pick them up. I'm going to get rid of this weekly planner, study planner, budget. Mm, I might keep the budget planner. I haven't decided yet. So this is my maybe pile. I'm going to let go of this pad. It's just to do lists while you're out. Contacts is cute, but I don't use it very often. This notepad. Another notepad, another notepad, another notebook, another notebook, more notebooks, uh, two more writing pads, this one I'm going to chuck in the bin, recycle, some revision cards, I have taken some out of these to use as journaling cards but I don't need that many of the same. The seven days a week planner pad. I've only used a couple of sheets out of that. This notebook. This notebook, which is really cute. It's like patterned inside. This notebook. And I've got a to-do list book in here that I altered. Which, if I don't use it when I set up my new planner, which I'll do a video on. I will get rid of it, but this is my maybe pile for now, those two items, because I don't know if I want to use it in my new planner. Okay, let me just stick this back in the box so I can clean my desk up. Oh, I have a whole bag of beads somewhere that I'm going to let go. Yeah. I've been busy. Um, I 
have, I'm just going to try and fit the bag on camera. This whole bag of storage items. There's little tubs. This is stuff that I've emptied because I've given it away. Uh, this tub, loads of doll pegs. I still have my Nouveau drops for sale if anyone's interested. Um, and my Mr. Huey's. I have this bag of all dog clips. So I might try and find a stationery sh charity, like teacher's charity or something that will take stationery. Unless anybody else wants them. And then going through my craft room, I've got some miscellaneous stuff just in this. I got some safety pins which I'm giving to my mum-in-law because she makes nappy cakes and we use them all up. Uh, some ribbon, a burgundy stickles, some random nail glitters and some tube glitters and a couple of microbead bottles, this paper raffia, some random crocodile clip things this um, smash book stamp thing yeah I probably just won't use it there's some more that I want to get rid of that I haven't pulled out yet uh, mini misters I got two of those I had like tons of them and I only need two one for pearl water and one for clean water I've got makeup sponges around I've got a bunch of wedged ones wedged <laughs> wedges um, I won't be sending you wedgies. And these erasers, which are really cute, but I left them on my windowsill and I don't know, I'm not using them. They're too cute to use. So I felt like I would just give them away, I guess. And I have this Cornflower Blue ink and I have a fresh peach somewhere, I think. There's another one. I can't remember where it went, but I'm giving that away as well because I got duplicates when I bought a bunch from somebody online. Um, I also have some threads in this bag. These little threads here, a stencil. Uh, oh, that's not crafty. I have some little embellishments. This little fit fell off. You're too cute to lose your feet. Yeah, feet back on. Uh, I found this wooden stamp, your my cup of tea. I found a foam stamp with this flower. Um, I went on a crazy purge. These gems, they're like yellowy gold. Uh, this they're like denim heart tags. This notebook, Hello Kitty. It's faded a bit in the sun, but it's fine inside. That were the other notebooks. Uh, some Halloween stickers. Some random pens, mostly highlighters and board markers. And that's it. I think. Yeah, I think that's it. So that was my crazy long purge. I cannot be bothered, honestly, to add up all the amount of items that I'm letting go of. Um, even if you don't count each sheet of paper as an item, I'm fairly confident that I have exceeded the 30 days because I have sent out parcels to people as well as um, what I've shown on camera. So yeah. I also have a bunch more stamps to go through that honestly I am kind of need a break from this process right now because the chaos in the craft room is driving me nuts so I just want to put my room back together and then I'll have another go at it once I've managed to donate, gift, sell the rest of the stuff because I have a huge pile <laughs> by the side of my desk. Um, so once that's gone down I will probably have another go at doing a de-stash challenge um, 
and let me see I'm up to 16 minutes okay so I thought I would do like a wrap up from the series and the challenge and the pros and cons and what I felt about it the pro is you're kind of chipping away at it a little bit every day and having a target in a way is nice like making it a game is feels more fun but because it's craft items um it's not really something that charity shops well except in bulk they don't really know what to do with it so it's actually really difficult to um let things go and i don't want to like send up out mystery boxes to people and just pass my problem on to them unless like i've asked them and they said yes i'd like something um so i emailed someone the other day and said would you like some vintage stuff because we're doing the vintage collab so i send them vintagey things or things i think they might like but apart from that like there's not really a lot of places you can give things to one idea i did have is um at church we have a craft group it's more like coloring group or painting so they have like pro markers and watercolors and things and i was going to ask them if they wanted to do more of the card making side of things and not just the coloring and if they do then i might donate some of my stamps and supplies to them or um or the lady that stamps everything out at the moment, I might offer her some of my stamps so that she has something different for them to colour. What else? Okay, anyway, so that that's kind of like most of the pros and a bit of the cons. The other thing I didn't like is feeling like I had to find a certain amount of items. I think that if you have a lot of stuff, then it's probably not so much of a big deal and i i had enough for this to not really be too bad but if i was already fairly uh, what's the word minimal or i hadn't been crafting as long i think i would have found this challenge quite difficult to do i didn't feel pressure to give away anything that i didn't want to i don't regret anything I've, there's a couple of things I've thought about, like this pad and maybe this, but that is just because I'm in the process of changing my planner and I haven't found something that I love yet. So keeping these for a little while and maybe using them in my planner is a temporary thing and once I've made that decision I'll feel comfortable giving them away if I'm not going to use them. So. It was good because it, it forced me to notice the things that I needed to make decisions on and things I wasn't sure about. It kind of led me to reflect on it and try and work things through. The downside is because I was trying to do this every day, although I did have that gap because I was poorly, the downside was I felt like I was constantly thinking about stuff and I didn't like that. I prefer to think about the process of creativity and how I feel and the expression of things rather than the stuff of things so I didn't enjoy that about it. Um, I would say the other con for me was I don't like focusing on what I want to get rid of. I much rather use like the con Marie way of doing things where you focus on what items you want to take into your future so yeah that that for me was a big con I, I didn't like how it made me focus on stuff and I would say I love the purpose and concepts behind minimalism and the fact that you are supposed to be focusing on editing your life to the things that only add value but the minimalist game was focusing on getting rid of things rather than keeping the things that add value to your life. And while the thought process of 
facing your stuff and the decisions that you needed to make about your future and what you wanted to do like for me how I was going to do my planning that did add value but it felt like I was trying to do too much at all at once and I didn't realize how many decisions I needed to make about my life moving forward so that might just be something that's unique to my situation I don't know I've only done this challenge once and I did only do it in one room in my house um, even though I have actually decluttered my bedroom and my kitchen the, yesterday yeah pretty much just yesterday the day before so I've been doing quite a lot of decluttering and my craft room is definitely the hardest because I suppose because it's more personal things the, the the clothing to me like clothing is an expression of my personality but because I declutter it on a regular basis and it's easier to donate things and let them go like I just have to plan one day where I need to go to a charity shop and there's a couple of items I need to sell in the craft room it's not so easy because it's not so easy to get the things out of your house out of your craft room and i get very frustrated by that part of things so it's definitely made me more mindful about what i want to bring into my craft room because everything i bring in i'm potentially gonna have to let get rid of at some point when it expires like because i don't like it anymore because it breaks down i did find a few stamp sets that have kind of disintegrated over time what else? Uh, pens that had run out, stuff like that. But I don't know. I'm glad I did it. I probably won't do the challenge again, the, the game, but I definitely will be doing more decluttering. So, yeah. Thank you guys for bearing with me while I was doing the challenge and watching along. And for everybody who bought something from me or has paid for postage for me to send you something I really appreciate it because for me that is the hardest thing is actually finding places for things to go and for those of you who have helped me with that part of it I really truly am grateful uh, yeah maybe I'll start doing some giveaways or some pocket letters and letting go of things that way way of being generous um, to my subscribers maybe uh, what else I don't think I've got anything else to say. Yeah, thanks for watching. Fifty awesome points to everybody who got this far in the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can find out when I release new videos. And there are a couple of videos here for your delectation if you so desire.